Hi, this is Ryan from jrocks.com and I wanted to go through a brief tutorial on how to create a MySQL database in your cPanel. So what we have to do first is uh, log into your cPanel control panel, which we've done here. Scroll down to your MySQL databases link, click on that. Now that we're in the MySQL databases area, we're going to create a new database here. So let's just name it uh, Gem1. Click on create database. Notice it's been added. Click go back. Now what we have to do is create a MySQL username and password that will access that database. So what we'll do is we'll create a uh, demo user. Or let's say demo one and then we'll just click on generate password to create a uh, fairly secure password. So let's click on regenerate here. So let's use this password. Make sure you uh, copy and paste that so that you can use that later when you install Gem. Click close and let's click on create user. Now that the user has been added, click go back. Now, one last step we have to do is we have to make sure you have to make sure that you add that user to the database. Um, this gives that particular user permissions to be able to add, delete, you know, and do updates f uh, for database for that database itself. So, let's uh, click on Gem One, and then the user will be Demo One, and let's click Add. What we'll do is we'll give that user all permissions to be able to uh, you know, do whatever it needs to for um, accessing that database. So click on make changes. Yeah, user's been added. Click go back. Now if you scroll down you'll notice the JROX under JROX net under underscore gem one's been created. The user that's that's able to access that database has been created has permissions to for that database as well. So what you have to make just make sure that when you do the install is you have the database name, the database user, and also the password that we created earlier. For cPanel, normally the server name will be localhost unless it's otherwise expressed by um, your web host. So that's it. Thanks.